everyone, this is Nikki from the design team and today we are going to be looking at a fun card by Katherine Pooler. So we're going to be using her inks and her products to create this fun shaker card. We're going to create our own shaker pieces. This is the stamp set we'll be using and we are going to do all kinds of stuff with just one stamp set and some ink blending. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit the like and subscribe on the Scrapbook Pal channel and we'll get right into this video. So I was looking at this set and I thought it would be so cute to have a shaker card that uses these popcorn pieces. So I decided to stamp lots of them so that they could be my shaker pieces. Now I am going to add just a little bit of glittery type stuff into the shaker mix, but it really looks cool when you use your stamp set this way. This popcorn just kind of makes me think of an overflowing popcorn machine. And so I felt like that would be really fun to put in the middle. And these are these size of stamps work well in the shaker card. Now while that ink dries, I'm going to go ahead and blend the background with Oh Boy and Something Borrowed. Something Borrowed I'm going to use for the dark um, edges of this. And I'm going to try to keep my color palette pretty simple. Blue, yellow, and pink is what we're going to be using today. And we'll be using all Katherine Pooler inks. Now if you haven't used these inks, they are reactive to water. So I've splattered this with water, used a paper towel to kind of dry up some of the ink, and then now I'm splattering with some white um, acrylic paint. Next I'm going to make my shaker window, and I'm using this level just to make sure that I've got the middle rectangle cut appropriately. I'm making my own frame. So I don't have a frame from Katherine Pooler, but I have these ruffles and dashes dies. And so I'm making my own frame here and going to cut that out and then ink blend it. And I'm using the same two colors that I did previously, oh boy. And then I'm going to go in on the edges and use that something borrowed just to get a little bit more um, depth to this rectangle. I'm just going along the edge with a smaller blending brush just to make that darker so that you can see those little dashes they look really cute on this and also just to give it like a spotlight type look now all we need is some double-sided adhesive to stick our piece of acetate behind this window then we will add a nice layer of foam tape so I usually don't die cut acetate. I just trim it to the size of my window. I got a little piece of hair in there, so I had to get that out. And then here's how nice that's gonna look. So I still need the foam, cause you've got to make something that raises it up. So you need to put foam around the edges. Now where this really matters is you want to make sure that your edges touch each other because you don't want little pieces of foam and your sequins and your popcorn and all the stuff that we're gonna put inside there. You don't want it to fall through the cracks of this. So just be very careful at lining it up to make sure you don't have any spaces. And I just kind of push the tape up against the previous side to be able to get that to stick really well together. So I kind of shove it up against the edge and then I go down and do my piece of tape. So once I have my card set up, now we need to do some stamping for some things that we're gonna put on the outside of that frame. And this is all from the same Katherine Pooler set. I'm gonna use the popcorn, the pretzels, and the cotton candy, which I'm just in love with the cotton candy. A couple of things to know about Katherine Pooler. So you see I've already cut out all of these pieces of popcorn. We're gonna use these inside the shaker card. And you could use anything. We could use the little tickets in this set, but I just thought the popcorn would be cool. It almost makes it like it's a little popcorn maker. So I'm using a sticky mat and I've already cut out these. And you may wonder why in the world I cut these out before I stamped color on them. And the reason is because I actually used a brother scan and cut to cut these apart versus the die since I was going to be doing so many pieces. And with the scan and cut, because Katherine Pooler has these more modern designs like this, the lines around the stamp are not completely filled in. So see how the popcorn has open spaces? That means that you're gonna need to use a pencil or something to get this to cut out on a cutting machine. So I decided that I would do chiffon as my color for this popcorn. And I know I have all of this sitting in a misty, but I like having that um, cushion that the misty provides to stamp. And I thought that would help out. So I just stuck a sticky mat in there and then we're gonna stamp these colors. And I want you to know that most of Katherine Pooler's stamping designs are made so that if you stamp it incorrectly, it, it doesn't really have to fit perfectly in there. It, she actually, in most of this stamp set, has some white space that shows. And she does that so that I think she can take the stress out of stamping that you know that it doesn't have to be perfect. So 
I'm going to show you some of the other stamping just so you can know the colors. So this is the little piece that goes on the top of the popcorn. So I'm going to keep that consistent and use the chiffon again, which is one of her lightest yellow colors. It looks really good for buttered popcorn. And I'm going to stamp the top of these images. Then I'm going to um, kind of jump ahead so that you can see how all of these images are supposed to look when they're stamped. So this is a good opportunity to show you what it looks like when you need to re-ink your ink pad. So this is It's a Girl, that's the color pink, and you can tell I'm going to pop up a little arrow where it just wasn't stamping completely, so I added a little bit of re-inker, and I'm smushing that around this ink pad so that I'll get a better stamp. So here's how that looks. And there is a little gap at the bottom with the white. I probably could have adjusted that stamp just a little bit better, but it's okay. This type of stamp, you've got more freedom with it. So let me show you the colors that I used for the other things and how I did the cotton candy. I used the Sand Castle ink for this pretzel, and I love how the stamp has those little dots so it looks like the pretzel has salt on it. I think that's just so cute, and you don't notice it until you stamp it down. It's so precious. For the cones, I'm using buttercream, which I really love this color, very versatile color. For the cotton candy, I wanted it to look very fluffy. I'm using It's a Girl and Oh Boy, which are the two colors that I've been using throughout this. And then I'm going to use a small blending brush, two of them actually, and we're going to create the cotton candy. And so I'm just adding my ink with the blending brush, which makes it look a little bit more fluffy. And just making a pattern like this is blue and pink swirled cotton candy. And so I'm just adding, and this will make it a light, kind of fluffy look. And remember, with Catherine Pooler stamps. These are not gonna fit exactly in the lines and that's the way they're supposed to be. So nice fluffy blue. Now I'm gonna go around and add pink to the areas that I didn't do in blue. And if these cross over a little bit, that's perfectly fine. It gives you a little purplish look, which just gives that cotton candy more fun and dimension. So I'm gonna add some pink and you can go back and do this multiple times if you don't get the colors where you want them. But I just love how this to me gives the texture of fluffy cotton candy. And if there's an area of mist, you can just go back in with that little blending brush and add it to the image just to cover everything up evenly if you want. I did go in and stamp over it a couple times, just adding a little extra color to it um, to make sure that I got all of the spaces filled that I wanted to, and also to make sure there was a little overlap because I like the difference in the colors there. So I added a little bit more pink to this one just to make my pink brighter. You can play with it however you want. Let's look at putting the shaker pieces together. So these are the popcorn pieces, and I'm kind of looking at them laid out here to make sure and decide how many I want inside this shaker pocket. You don't want them to be really overlapping each other because you don't want to flip them over to the white part, but you want to have enough that you can see the general idea. So I'm just arranging, and I always arrange shaker pieces on the background, not inside the window, and that's because it's just easier to line up that shaker window window over your pieces versus trying to flip the card over and get it correct. So I added a few clear pieces and a few other yellow pieces and then I'm going to powder the inside of my window here so that the pieces don't stick to the edges of this adhesive. I'll remove the backing of that and then we're going to lay it down on top. All right, and so this goes right over here. Sorry, the picture's a little bit crooked. My camera must have gotten slightly crooked, but hopefully you can see the grid lines and follow along with that. Now I'm using a ruler just to make sure I get this even before I lay it down, and then I'll seal it and we'll add our fun little parts to the top of this. I wanted this to be a birthday card, so I'm gonna say treat yourself today and the inside will have happy birthday. I made my own card stock for the background using something borrowed and oh boy on top of each other, and that creates a really nice custom card stock look that I can put behind this card. Make sure if you haven't done it that you hit the like and subscribe on the Scrapbook Pal channel for more fun inspiration. I hope you loved this popcorn shaker card. I just think it's so fun and I can't wait to send it to somebody for their birthday. Here are a couple of up closes. Once again, I'm Nikki from the design team and if you want any of the products or just want to check them out, make sure you click the links in the description below. Have a great day. Bye.